Hello and welcome back to the book, Creation Cries Out, the Maserat. We'll continue on in chapter 6. What is the Heavenly Scroll? Oh, crap. Notice on the Enoch Zodiac, the living being that sits over the transition from the age of Gemini, illustrated with the pictograph of Adam and Eve. To the age of Taurus, a pictogram of a bull, is the only one of the living creatures who guard the zodiac to hold a scroll. This is because, as we will later see, the heavenly scroll is a message to all humanity of a coming Messiah. What is this scroll in heaven that Yahusha alone is found worthy to open? You see, before the foundation of the world, Yahuwah literally authored in the stars the plan of salvation through a human messiah called the heavenly scroll or Maserat or Zodiac. Revelation 13 8. All inhabitants of the earth will worship the beast all whose names have not been written in the Lamb's book of life. The Lamb who was slain from the beginning of creation of the world in the heavenly scroll. 1 Peter 20 he was chosen before the creation of the world in the heavenly scroll, but was revealed, created to fulfill the heavenly scroll in these last times, fourth prophetic day, for your sake to show us the way unto salvation. The Bible calls this scroll in the stars the Maserat. Remember the Maserat is Hebrew for what we call the Zodiac. You can see it right there in Wikipedia. Many times, when you see the English words heaven or sky, it is, referring, it is referring to the book of the Maserat, the Zodiac. Yahuwah stretched out the heavens, or the Zodiac signs like a scroll across the elliptic plane, the path of the sun. Revelation 6.14 The heavens receded like a scroll being rolled up to be read. Isaiah 34.4 all the stars in the sky will pine away, longing to be fulfilled, and the heavens rolled up like a scroll to be read. Isaiah 45 I, Yahuwah, do all these things. It is I who made the earth and created mankind upon it. My own hand stretched out the heavens, the place where the stars are located. I marshaled their starry host, constellations, host stars, the signs of the zodiac. Also keep in mind, the Hebrew word translated sky and heaven is Shamian, which means the place in the sky where the stars are located, referring specifically to the zodiac. Isaiah 44.24 This is what Yahuwah says, your Redeemer, who formed you in the womb. I am Yahuwah, the maker of all things, who stretches out the heavens like a scroll. The zodiac is stretched out in the heavens. The signs created by Yahuwah, zodiac signs, are laid out across the elliptic plane, like a scroll, and read like a pictograph, in order as the sun goes through each sign each year. They proclaim the plan of salvation. It is Yahuwah who prophesied the end from the beginning, writing his plan of salvation in the stars in the heavenly scroll we call the zodiac. Isaiah 46 I am Elohim, and there is no other. I am Elohim, and there is none like me. I make known the end from the beginning, written in the zodiac, from ancient times, the foundation of the world, what is still to come. I say my purpose will stand, and I will do all that I please. Notice how many times he says I, and not we, because there is no trinity. Our ancestors understood this truth. Left is a painting depicting Yahuwah authoring the heavenly scroll with Yahusha on his mind. You see right here, there's Yahuwah and there's Yahusha. They are not one being, they are two separate beings. His instructions for earth, i.e. plan of salvation, are securely written in the heavenly scroll, safe from human hands. That's why the Bible doesn't want you learning about it because it would um, dispel some of their 
stories. Psalms 19, 119. O Yahuwah, your instructions endure. They stand secure in heaven, originally written in the stars, untouched by human hands. Yahusha prayed, The will of Yahuwah be done on earth as it is laid out in the heavenly scroll of the Maserat. Matthew 6.10 My favorite prayer. Your kingdom come, proclaimed in the heavenly scroll, your will be done on earth as it is written in the heavenly scroll, the place where the stars are located. We see that once the heavenly scroll is fulfilled, that the heavens open up like a scroll as, a, as the book of the Maserat is opened. The starry host or signs of the zodiac fall at the feet of the one found worthy to open the heavenly scroll as they are fulfilled. Revelation 6.14 the heavens, the zodiac, receded like a scroll being rolled up. Isaiah 34 All the stars in the sky, the zodiac, will be dissolved, and the heavens rolled up like a scroll. All the starry host of the signs of the zodiac will fall before the one who fulfills them, Yeshua. It is only after Yahusha fulfills his final zodiac sign of Leo and conquers the dragon that the lion of the tribe of Judah is revealed, having fulfilled the heavenly scroll. He is found to be the only one worthy to open it and read it publicly to proclaim that he was chosen by Yahuwah from the foundation of the world. The heavenly scroll is that witness to confirm that he alone is the Messiah and that also destroys the dragon. Revelation 5 verse 5 Then I saw in the right hand of the one who was seated on the throne of creation, Yahuwah, a scroll written on the front and back a 3D scroll of the zodiac signs along the elliptic plane, and sealed within seven seals, the seven visible planets from Earth, seen as seals over the scroll, and I saw a powerful angel proclaiming in a loud voice, who was worthy to open the scroll and to break its seals. But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or look into it, onto it. So I began weeping bitterly because no one was found who was worthy to open the scroll, or to look into it, only Yeshua was. Then one of the elders said to me, Stop weeping, look, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, Yahusha, fulfills the sign of Leo, completing the heavenly scroll. The root of David has conquered the dragon, the meaning of the sign of Leo. Thus, because only he has fulfilled the meaning of the scroll, he can open the scroll and its seven seals. Then John continues describing the center of the zodiac in great detail, confirming the meaning of the heavenly scroll. Revelation 5 continued. Then I saw standing in the middle of the throne, and of the four living creatures, and in the middle of the elders, a lamb that appeared to have been killed. He had seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent up sent out into all the earth. Then he came back and took the scroll from the right hand of the one who was seated on the throne. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders, stars, threw themselves to the ground before the Lamb. And the four living creatures were saying, Amen, and the elders, stars, threw themselves to the ground and worshipped. I will go further into these images and prophecies later in this book and series. The contents of the heavenly scroll, or book of the Maserat, is, a, is held secret, revealed through the Ruach spirit to his chosen prophets, the ones watching this video. It is the secrets contained in the heavens, perverted by the watchers, twisting the meaning of the zodiac. It is not read publicly until it is fulfilled completely, and only he who fulfills it is found worthy to break the seals and read the scroll, proclaiming to all that Yahuwah's will has been done on earth as it is written in the heavenly scroll. Matthew 13.11 He replied, Because the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, the zodiac, has been given to you, but not to them. It's amazing. Faith comes from hearing the message in the stars. As I explained in chapter 3, the Apostle Shaw asked of humanity below, did they not hear? Of course they did, he exclaims. Then Shaw quotes David in Psalms that declares the heavens are pouring forth speech day after day to all mankind, hearing and voice 
are used anthropomatically as a physical to spiritual parallel by Shaw as he clearly teaches the source of the faith is the zodiac. Romans 10:17. Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message proclaimed in the heavens, and its message is heard throughout the world, through the world, heavenly scroll, about the Messiah. But I ask, did they not hear? Of course they did. Their signs of the zodiac voice has gone out unto all the earth. Their words concerning Yahusha to the ends of the world. Shaw quotes Psalm 19:4. The message that is heard through the word about the Messiah, Shaw says, is the zodiac, the heavenly scroll, the original revelation to all mankind, the first and most complete gospel of Yahusha, the Messiah. After asking this question, did they not hear the message of the gospel? Shaw literally quotes from Psalm 19, the most eloquent description of the Zodiac and its message I have ever read. It is a detailed account of the Zodiac proclaiming the gospel message to all mankind. Psalm 19, the heavens, the place in the sky where the stars are located, are telling of the glory of Yahuwah. The glory of Yahuwah is Yeshua, Yahusha, and their, star, and their expanse is declaring the work of his hands. Day to day pours forth speech and night to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, nor other words. Their signs of the zodiac constellations. Voice is not heard. Their line, zodiac means line or path, has gone out through and seen through all the earth, and their signs, utterances to the end of the world. In them, the constellations, he has placed a tent for the sun, the zodiac, which is as a bridegroom, Yahusha, coming out of his chamber. It rejoices as a strong man to run his course through the elliptic. Its rising is from one end of the heavens, zodiac, and its circuit means circuit or path to the other end of them, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. I'm sorry, my dog is snoring. I'm going to relocate here. Yes, the zodiac is the original revelation to all mankind. It is the foundation of all prophecy and faith as it is Yahuwah's witness of the Messiah, Yahusha. Of course we did what we always do and perverted it, then abolished it, like we did the law of the Sabbath, his holy name, and that is why this is so shocking to us today. We allow the enemy to twist Yahuwah's revelation in the stars and abuse it, to the point we will not even look at it or consider it, because we have been misled to believe it as evil. We were told that the Zodiac is Yahuwah's gift to all mankind, and we are not supposed to worship it. But we just said we just but we did just that. Deuteronomy three nineteen. When you look up to the sky and see the sun, moon, and stars, the whole heavenly Hebrew zodiac creation, you must not be seduced to worship and serve them signs of the zodiac for Yahuwah your Elohim has assigned them the signs of the zodiac to all the people of the world they were created by Yahuwah to proclaim the coming Messiah Yahusha they are not gods the heavenly scroll or zodiac has been used by Yahuwah to witness the gospel all the way back to Adam Enoch even Abraham Genesis 15.5 And Yahuwah brought Abraham forth abroad, out under the stars, and said, Look now toward the heavens, and see if you can tell what the stars proclaim. If thou be able to number them, read them in order. There are twelve. And he said unto him, So what they proclaim shall thy seed Yeshua be. They tell a story of his life. And Abraham believed the message he saw written in the stars. Abraham then became the father of faith, because the source of faith is the heavenly scroll. Just like the apostle Shaw said to the Galatians, Yahuwah witnessed the gospel to Abraham through the stars. Galatians 3.8 Scripture foresaw that Yahuwah would justify the Gentiles by faith and announce the gospel in advance to Abraham. All nations will be blessed through you. The Bible declares that creation cries out his existence and the glory of Yahuwah, which is the gospel of the coming Messiah, Yahusha. We must shed the blinders of the church in this one area concerning looking to the stars for knowledge and reading the stars as a witness from Yahuwah to all mankind. 
not fortune telling and horoscopes. Once these blinders are removed, we then begin to see the Bible instructing us to do just that, look up into the heavens, at the message found in the zodiac. It must become obvious as we go back to the very foundation of the universe, as we look to understand the workings of our solar system, that Yahuwah had a plan and disclosed that plan in the heavens. Why wouldn't he? He is the creator, and it, it was his predestined plan all along to deliver this planet through a human messiah. That plan, Hebrew, Debar, or Greek, Logos, was with Yahuwah in the beginning. Everything that was done in creation was done according to that plan. It was Yahuwah's plan, and it was predestined. John 1. In the beginning was the plan of Yahuwah, and the plan was with Yahuwah, and it defined his purpose in creation, and the plan was Yahuwah's. The same plan was in the beginning with Yahuwah. All things were done according to the plan of Yahuwah, and without the plan of Yahuwah, nothing was done. That was done. In this plan was predestined life through a human Messiah's sacrifice, and that life was the light of revelation to mankind. Yes, it was Yahuwah's plan from the very beginning, and Yahuwah the Creator literally wrote that plan into the stars in an elaborate display for mankind to see. He did not just name these stars and constellations for identification purposes, but for signs to be used as prophetic markers and for coming days, seasons, and years, but also as signs with meaning that tell the story of Yahushua the Messiah. Genesis 1, And Yahuwah said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let, their, let them serve as signs, and to mark seasons and days and years. However, very clear on, as we see in the book of Enoch, mankind was led astray from the Creator. We are taught to worship His creation in idolatry by the Watchers also known as fallen angels, or Nephilim. As we have read in several passages that these fallen angels taught a worthless message and corrupted the message in the heavens, and taught the use of astrology. The Book of Enoch, Chapter 8 Asmarach taught all those who cast spells and cut roots, Amaras, the release of spells, and Baricule, astrologers, and Cochrebeel, portents, and Tamio, taught astrology, and Azradil taught the path of the moon. I apologize for my pronunciation. The Book of Enoch, Chapter 9, Verse 6 Things and nothing can hide itself from thee. Thou seest what Azazel had done, who had taught all unrighteousness on the earth, and revealed the eternal secrets which were preserved in heaven, which seven men were striving to learn. I'm not sure if that's seven men or a break in verse 7. The Book of Enoch, chapter 16, verse 3. You have been in heaven, but all the mysteries had not yet been revealed to you, and you knew worthless ones. And these, are, and these, in the hardness of your hearts, you have made known to the women. Through these mysteries, women and men work much evil on earth. This corrupted version of the gospel message was to worship the sun in the planets and zodiac signs. Sun worship, as it evolved, Sunday worship, from Babylon to modern day Christianity, we read in the book of Daniel that the magic arts, divination, and astrology were central to the mystery religion of Babylon. Moses presented a clear warning to Israel before taken into Babylon captivity not to fall for sun worship. Deuteronomy 4 verse 19 And when you look up to the sky, the zodiac, and see the sun, moon, and stars, all the heavenly array of the zodiac, do not be enticed into bowing down to them, the signs of the zodiac, <clears throat> and worshiping things, the zodiac, Yahuwah your Elohim, has apported to all of the nations under heaven, as a witness to the coming Messiah, Yahushua. And Moses further warned Israel against the using of the zodiac for astrology to tell fortunes and divination 
and forbids the use of any of the knowledge given by the watchers or fallen angels. Deuteronomy 18, 9 when, you're, when you enter the land of Yahuwah your God is giving you, do not learn to imitate the detestable ways of the nations there. Let no one be found among you who sacrifices their son or daughter in the fire to Baal, who practices divination or sorcery, interprets omens, engages in witchcraft or casts spells, or who is a medium or a spiritualist, or who consults the dead. Anyone who does these things is detestable to Yahuwah. Because of these same detestable practices, Yahuwah, your Elohim, will drive out those nations before you. You must be blameless before Yahuwah, your Elohim. Wow. Idolatry consists of re revering the created thing rather than the creator. Behind the worship of the sun, moon, and stars are the demonic powers of the heavenly realm. This is why in 1 John 4 it says to test the spirits and that if they do not admit that Yahusha, the Messiah, was human, born of the flesh, then do not trust them. They are of the Antichrist. Do not even let them in your home. Angels, fallen and unfallen, are Yahuwah's instruments in the government of the physical world and nature. Hebrews 2.5 Reference Seeking answers about the future in the stars then or now brings us under control of the demonic agencies to our own harm and destruction. Quantum computing comes into mind when I see that. That however does not preclude us from looking up into the heavens to see the message of the gospel written for all humanity and that is exactly why the zodiac was created. It is also why the zodiac was the focus of corruption. The heavenly scroll is open. Leo, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, opens the book of the Maserat, the Heavenly Scroll. Revelation 5, verse 5, the opening of the scroll of the Maserat. Then I saw on the right hand of the one who was seated on the throne a scroll written on the front and the back, 3D scroll of heavenly pictographs, and sealed with seven seals. The seven visible wandering stars were seen as seals over the Heavenly Scroll, and also the seven lampstand, Heavenly Menorah. Excuse me. Revelation chapter 4 verse 1 The throne in heaven After this I looked and behold A door was opened in heaven And the first voice which I heard Was Yahuwah the Alpha and the Tav As it were of a trumpet Talking with me which said Come up here and I will show you The things which must be after this And immediately I was in the spirit And behold a throne was set In the heavenly scroll And one sat on the throne and he who sat there had the appearance of a jasper and a sardine, sardis stone. And there was a rainbow surrounding the throne, like the appearance of an emerald. And surrounding the throne were twenty-four seats. And sitting on the seats I saw twenty-four elders, clothed in white robes. And they had crowns of gold on their heads. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne which signify and represent the complete plan of Yahuwah, seven spirits, seven stars of Pallades, the seven planets. And, be, and before the throne there was a sea of glass, like crystal, the firmament, blackness of space, and in the midst of the throne, and surrounding the throne, were four living creatures, full of eyes before and behind, the signs, constellation, wheel of Ezekiel's vision, image to the left. Um, also, the wheel of Ezekiel um, can be seen. Ay, ay, ay. I apologize. <clears throat> and the first creature was like a lion here. And the second creature was like a calf. And the third creature had a face as a man. Holding the scroll. No. And the fourth creature was like a flying eagle, the four cardinal points of the Enoch zodiac to the right. And each of the four living creatures had six wings. They were full of eyes around and within, and they did not cease day and night, 
saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Father, Yahuwah Almighty, who was and is and is to come. And when those creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him who sat on the throne, to him who lives forever and ever, the twenty-four elders, stars, fall down before him who sat on the throne in the Enoch Zodiac. There are exactly twenty-four stars, and they are falling under the rainbow throne. The four, seat, the four beasts are seen singing, Holy, 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 pictured below. Yeah. The four little, they look like cows, kind of. And worship him who lives forever and ever, and bow with their kippet before the throne, saying, You are worthy, O Yahuwah, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. I have produced an in depth video on what John witnessed, pr proving Yahuwah was showing John the heavenly scroll. It can be found on my YouTube channel. Search the Sabbath Covenant channel or go to this link. I am actually subscribed to that channel. It is the only channel I am subscribed to. So, anyway, we'll continue on on Chapter 7 in the next video. Thank you for listening and reading along.